Hey everybody, this is John from A Global, and this little video is about HVAC drain line design. As you can see here, we have a condensate pump that comes from, this is actually a downflow furnace, it drains into the condensate pump, and the pump discharges out through a condensate line that has to go somewhere. If you have a slab or your air conditioner's drain line is not properly piped and it goes outside your house, please stay tuned. So there's a plethora of options where you can actually discharge this condensate from your AC drain and actually a condensate pump can discharge into the vent. It's actually in the back side of a bathtub. Another option would be to actually discharge it in, into a sink, but prior to the trap and before the trap, actually right about where my hands are and where it can drain down in. So I'd like to show you a third option, and this is actually what I went through in this house, is the kitchen sink. And actually I tied it into the dishwasher drain where it drains before the trap, and it drains down in through where it actually goes into the sanitary sewer. So typically the, the uh, tubing that's, that comes, actually that you install with this is, is a 3 8 vinyl tubing. And Normally, another spot that you can actually place it into is like a slop sink into your basement where it just flows over and goes down into the drain. If you're actually thinking about uh, cutting into your vent pipe or stack pipe, it is not recommended. It is I don't even believe it's illegal in anywhere to do this. So again, for simplicity purposes, you can see that Mine is actually run from the AC the condensate. It actually runs over to the dishwasher drain, which goes before the trap. So that's key. It can't be after the trap. It has to go before the trap. So if you like what you've seen so far, please click the like button and uh, please subscribe. It just helps out a fellow YouTuber to continually bring good information. So I'd like to slow this down a little bit, but uh, the small sink in the bathroom is the least of my favorites, and I'll show you why. The absolute best place to go is, say, a, a, a floor drain in a basement, but actually this is in a house with a basement, or something like this. So one thing to keep in mind is the the furnace, this is a 90 plus, it actually it's a condensing furnace, and what condenses out of it is actually uh, very acidic so you can see that it eats up the drain very quickly so in this setup it's a condensing furnace and this is actually the the pipe that leads outside of the house to discharge these exhaust gases but there's a trap right here built in before it goes into the piping so to recap this a little bit um, the floor drain would be my first favorite my second favorite would be actually into a utility sink to just drain into it that would be the condensate pump discharge my third favorite would actually be the vent on the bathtub because if the drain actually clogs it'll just it has a lot of room let's say on a humid day the condensate has a lot of room to displace itself in that bathtub my next choice would be that where the dishwasher actually discharges into the sink before the trap um, because if, if the drain actually plugged, you have a large sink in the kitchen that will be able to show you that the condensate is backing up, that you have an issue, and uh, this would be my next choice. And obviously my last choice would be that bathroom sink. It's a real small sink, and if it did back up, uh, you have much less time to actually do something to stop it. Furthermore, the wisest thing would be to look at your local codes and see what they accept on how you're going to actually discharge this. But my least of favorites is outside of the house. Obviously, you can do damage to your foundation and everything else. My first favorite is the condensate drain to the floor drain, uh, which goes directly to sewer. My second favorite would be the largest amount, which would be to your bathtub and the bathtub has a, a lot of area if it does back up to where it will accept all that extra condensate so you can figure out what's going on third favorite would be 
a utility sink where you put it into the utility sink and uh, my next favorite would be the uh, kitchen sink or and my last would be the uh, bathroom sink 